Okay, in this video, we're going to be talking about offering too many services. This is pointed more towards the people that are just starting their business, that maybe have a few customers, have a few bits of pro uh, tools and products, or just getting into it, or just more so in the beginning phases of starting a detailing business. Because personally, when I started my, uh, my business, my uh, detailing business, I made a list of, you know, just every tool, uh, I'm sorry, every service that I could offer with the tools and products that I had at hand. And perhaps, you know, you're really looking to buying a huge list of tools and products so you can offer all those services that you want to offer. And in this video, I'm going to kind of digest what you should focus on to be the most optimized detailer and really, you know, uh, go on the right path to growth. Because from what I see, a lot of detailers just list dozens and dozens of services on their website or you know when they're talking to a potential customer because they want to fulfill every need that the customer has so for instance for exterior detailing someone will uh what detailers will offer a wash a wash and wax light swirl removal heavy swirl removal wheel cleaning and coating paint coatings glass coatings isolated swirl removal uh badge removal foam and wash you got to add the foam and iron decon so a lot of these are kind of the same, but that's, that's kind of the thing that I'm trying to point out is that um, just because you can offer that service that, you know, like that very, uh, just maybe uh, like for instance, this foam and wash, meaning you pre-foam the car and make it look all sudsy and cover the foam and then you wash it as compared to just a regular wash. You know, people offer that as a service because they think it's an option and as a detailer, as a business owner, you think more options are better for the customer because they can really pick and choose what they want, what they don't want, and they can really fit to their needs. And yes to an extent that is true but when you bombard them with so many different services and so many different options that they got to think about okay well i just kind of want to you know a wash and wax or a wash and i have this option and this option and i kind of am not too sure what's going on here it really does confuse them and it, it you know and to some customers they do love options they do love making you know being able to pick and choose what they want but I, you know for um, in, this again from personal take the majority of the people don't want to add confusion, right? You know, they don't want to see this list, this detailing menu or, you know, or this brochure with a bunch of detailing services and just kind of be confused on what's going on because just because you have more options doesn't mean they're going to either uh, buy more services or want to uh, pay you for, for, for more uh, services just because you offer them. And again, it's cool to have, you know, saying you have these different uh, services at the different price points, but getting down to the to, to, to the meat of things is it, it doesn't really matter and it's not going to really add much value to the customer or to yourself at that matter just because you offer so many services so again in the beginning phases like i'm always talking to the to, to, to the people that are just starting their business is that you know instead of offering a list of five ten services that you can offer just because you have the tools and products keep it down to a minimum of three or four so for instance for exterior detailing right instead of offering this you know dozen or so items uh, as services you should you know bring it down to a regular wash a wash and wax and perhaps a um, paint correction and that's it for instance a wash can have different levels to it right depending on the car or at, at that you know wash a wash and wax and paint correction has many different levels to it but don't state them you know each time you're going to talk to a customer so don't say well we have a light wash and a heavy wash or we have you know uh, what you really don't want to go for is, you know, make the customer think about, you know, what's going like, I'm just, I just want to wash. Or you want to keep everything to a minimal to them because it helps them and it helps you. Uh, and I, I can't say it's enough. This is for the people that are just starting their business. You don't want to offer so many services because it's going to, it's going to derail you from just your main objective. So if the main thing is you want to focus on an interior cleaning or exterior cleaning and you want to be, you know, great at one specific thing, then just focus on that. If one customer comes along and they say, Hey, look, you know, I know you all just offer interior detailing extra detailing whatever it may be but i want you know this into my car can you do it just because you can doesn't mean you should because you don't want to get sidetracked because you don't know if that's you know going to be the only customer that's going to ask you for that type of detail in the next three months just be laser focused on what you want to uh, offer that way you don't need to be thinking about okay i need these tools and products i need to offer this type of service i need to have this type of thing ready if someone wants this package uh, you know really dial in into what you want to offer and um so if it's for extra detailing, really dial in on the few services that you want to offer. And again, you can have different levels of that, but you don't need to, you don't need, you don't need to literally state that you offer that type of service. So if it's for headlight restoration and you offer, you know, a headlight restoration with a regular sealant, 
that's gonna last maybe three months and then you have a headlight restoration that lasts up to a year with a headlight coating you don't need to come up with two services that have you know a bunch of information on their website or that you need to talk to the customer about just to you know just to transfer that information to them um, if it's you know if you have two types of options for a specific for one specific service so if it's like let's say for uh, for lights for uh, pen correction swirl removal and you know you can offer light swirl removal heavy swirl removal or maybe a show car show car finish pen correction you don't need to literally state each one you could just say you know we offer you know are you interested in pen correction do you want to get your car shiny and they say yes and you can just talk to them there and just you know, verbally, one-on-one, -on -one, kind of talk out the details and then come up with a final price because, um, for instance, you know, people will list the, that there's a light sword removal and then there's a heavy sword removal just to really different, to really separate between, you know, the light is obviously might, might cost less and it's less uh, sword removal and then the heavy sword removal is going to cost more because we're removing more swirls. But realistically, you could just offer a paint correction service, see what kind of uh, needs they need in terms of are you going to take this to a car show or is this just, just to kind of give it a bit more shine? Identify what their needs are and then charge accordingly. Instead of trying to come up with, you know, uh, 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 an intensive detailing menu, outlining all the services you offer and all that. Because, you know, when someone goes to your, let's say someone goes to your website and you offer, you know, have these just blocks of text of information on the services that you offer, the customer's probably not gonna wanna read all that. Some customers do, by all means, some customers do love that you give them a lot of information on services and what you do and everything that entails. But for the most part, you know, just, you know, generally speaking, people are not going to sit there at the computer and read blocks of text and information that you write down on the on your website just because it's there. They want quick, fast, easy services. So if you want to, you know, if you're adding more barriers to their checkout, meaning from them calling you, sending you a text, uh, emailing you about your services, then that's kind of bad for you and your business. So again, to those that are just starting their business, don't try to offer every single last service that you can possibly offer just because you have those tools and products at hand. Focus on you know one or two, three uh, services that you want to offer, and then just stick to that. Don't don't try to you know detour too many times. So just because you know you're in the beginning phases, you have one customer and you're really excited and you want the money and you want the growth and you want the detail, but if it's not in line with what you're really focusing on, then don't do it. That's going to help you out a lot in the long term. And again, as you go and you grow then uh, you can branch off a bit more and offer a few more services. But in the beginning phases, like I really lecture all the time, in the beginning phases, you need to be absolutely focused on what you want to offer so you can really have that growth and not, you know, add a bunch of uh, hassle and, uh, and, um, and headaches to your business. Hope this video helps. Leave a comment down below and tell me what you think. And uh, tell me what videos you want to see because I have like a bunch of video ideas and um, but they're just kind of just, you know, what I see around and just my personal thoughts. But if you have a specific video you'd like to see, then by all means, leave it down below and I'll get to it. See you next time.